Meals are a great way of getting people together and food is a form of cultural expression. South Africa's diverse cultural heritage has added so much variety to local cuisine and Chef Rev Batoi found inspiration across the board for his Heritage Day menu. A free spirit in the kitchen, Chef Rev Batoi believes in adding a pop of originality to whatever dish he's preparing, as Karishma was about to discover. I love that South Africa is so culturally diverse and that heritage means something different to each of us. But at the end of the day, we're all proudly South African. Rev, what does heritage mean to you? It's about spending time with your friends and family and being one. And how have we incorporated that into today's menu? Brying isn't as easy for me as it is for everyone else. So what I've done is I've incorporated my heritage into Bry Day. And what's first? So to start, we're going to do a delicious chicken korma. Lovely. So we've heated the pan. We've got some chicken, which we're going to pop right inside. And what I've done here is I've added it into little cubes. And we put that onto our searing hot pan. And what the heat actually does is it sears all the delicious flavors into it. And our next ingredient is onion. And you want to let that cook for two or three minutes just so that all the heat cooks everything through. And we give it a good little stir so the heat activates it. So that's what we're looking for. And now we're going to add in our garlic. And now it's time to add in our dried spices. So first up, we've got the bay leaf, followed by our masala. And then we've got our turmeric. And the turmeric is the base flavor for this particular dish. And then we've got your star anise. This isn't a necessary ingredient, but I always add in some mustard seeds. And then we stir it all together and it almost turns into a dry curry. I don't add any chili to this dish. Okay, and now to add some moisture to it, I add in some buttermilk. And just for good measure, I add in some yogurt as well, which is plain. You give that a good mix and coat everything together. What exactly defines a korma? A chicken korma is a non-spicy Indian turmeric-based, creamy, delicious, hearty curry. And that's exactly what that looks like. And while this cooks, let's start with our first bride day accompaniment. So Krishma, please can you pass me the first dish? Now to you, this might be the simple mash that you see at every bride day. But what we're looking to do here is convert it into our gourmet super mash. So to begin, we're going to add our simple coriander oil, which is just simply coriander mashed with oil. And once we get all of that in, you give it a good mix. Up next, we've got our chili and beetroot, if you can help me with the other two. Okay. And give that a good stir. I love this because at a braai, you usually have beetroot and it comes with potato salad and everything just goes pink. And now we're doing the same thing, except deliberately. And for the final one, please can you pass me the last dish? Go. We're going to add our chilli oil and this is essentially crushed chilli and oil. We're going to give that a good mix so that all the chilli is incorporated into our super mash. And now that we're done with our super mash, I'm going to show you how to transform a can of simple chakalaka into a gourmet side dish. So to begin, we are going to add our toasted sesame seeds, followed by some spring onions. And you can also add chopped chives, followed by some rustically chopped coriander. And you give that a good mix. And Karishma, this can be served hot or cold. So let's check on our chicken. Give that a good mix. And this looks like it's done. So what I normally do is, with the extra sauce from the chicken korma, or any curry for that matter, I take our vegetable skewer and a basting brush, and I baste our vegetable skewer. And this could be anything on your skewer, from mushrooms to pepper to spring onion. That's a fantastic tip. And there you have it, my version of my Heritage Day braai. Rev, this reminds me so much of my family because even though we had loads of braais, there was always a little bit of Indian flavour mixed in there. Well, there you go. Local inspiration and Eastern interpretation deliver something deliciously unconventional.